Tonight we're looking at an about face by the First District Court of Appeals in the case of a local man who murdered a Jacksonville firefighter in 2011. Lawyers for Charles Pierce had been pushing for a new trial, arguing he was mentally incompetent and the jury did not get to see all the evidence. Pierce was convicted of fatally shooting his neighbor Mike McHugh in Jacksonville Beach and sentenced to life in prison. John for Scott Johnson has been looking into this unusual ruling and is joining us live from the courthouse. Scott? A lot of back and forth here. Originally, he was convicted, sent to prison for life in prison, two terms of life in prison, actually. Then the Court of Appeals said, we're overturning this. We're going to retry the case. Until today, they went back, and this killer will go back to prison for the rest of his life. After Charles Pierce was convicted of murdering Mike McHugh in 2011, his lawyers filed an appeal on the grounds that the court made a mistake when the defense wasn't allowed to show the jury part of a videotaped interview police conducted the day after his arrest in Arizona. The defense argued that portion of the videotape would have proved Pierce was incompetent to stand trial. Well, this past December, the First District Court of Appeals agreed and threw out the conviction, ordering a new trial until today when the appeals court reversed that decision. I talked to Gene Nichols, an attorney not affiliated with this case, who says this is highly unusual. He says the court determined the problem with the original trial was a harmless error. It did not hurt his defense. It did not affect the jury. And for that reason, they have made a decision that whether the decision was right or wrong, because it did not impact the jury verdict, that there's no reason to overturn this case. So they have reversed themselves. Very rare. Nichols says after the December decision by the appeals court to throw out the original conviction, the state attorney's office worked with the attorney general's office to ask the court to reconsider, which they did. I spoke briefly with Mike McHugh's twin brother by phone. He declined an on-camera interview but said, quote, justice has been served and it's been five years and a lot of stress. And while it appears Pierce's time in the court system is over, Nichols says it's possible his defense team could appeal this again, perhaps to the First District Court of Appeals or maybe even the state Supreme Court, who might find the change of heart by a lower court worthy of consideration. They will obviously petition to the Supreme Court. This is a matter that because of the complexities of the First District Court of Appeal reversing themselves, you can expect a brief to be filed to the Florida Supreme Court. Whether or not they will hear it will be up to the Supreme Court and see what happens from there. And no one knows the answer to that. Nichols says if it does get to the Supreme Court, and that is a huge if, the goal of the defense would once again be to throw out the original trial and retry this case. But as we say, a lot has to happen to make that a reality. Downtown of the courthouse, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.